you planning to visit Consumel Mexico, don't book your excursion until you watch this video. We don't know Consumel. We didn't book excursion. We rented a car. And we didn't want this. Probably I had to go away from this place. Probably after this strong drink. We just did a quick stop right here uh -huh. uh, in the middle of the road. Oh, baby. <laughs> I say, Viva la Mexico. That's crazy. I love like, it. My island. Beautiful. I like it. No, I don't know how we're going to make it back to the chip. Que viva Mexico. Welcome, Welcome to, to Consumer. Enjoy the drinks, we have enjoyed the food, there you we've go. enjoyed the beach. Guys, cantas in Mexico, cantas in consume. The best, the best, yeah. in Consumel, Mexico. Yes, guys, we already arrived to our first stop of this trip on board of MSC Magnifica. Mm -hmm. Consumel is the very first time that we've both been here. We're gonna discover and you're gonna discover with us, for sure. Actually, one of the scariest things, as you can see around the weather, is not so perfect today because uh, actually somewhere in the ocean start uh, developing the hurricane. Our ship today was like going here and there. Like yeah, last night was rocking. It was rocking yeah. a lot. It was different. I mean, for the most part, the first, you know, two days of traveling was okay. But then last night, you know, you just started feeling the difference for Definitely. sure. Uh, we're gonna be here. It's still cloudy. You know, it's not raining. You can see, you can feel some wind, which doesn't make it too hot, but uh, we gotta go with emotions and be careful because there's a tropical storm at the moment for sure. Definitely. Guys, so our ship stopped in the port Punta Langosta. Yes, remember, we're coming with MSC, but depends on what type of cruise lines you're coming through. In Consumel, they have three different terminals. So always before you come, make sure you know which terminal your particular ship is gonna be standing up. That way you know exactly where you're gonna be located. Definitely, because if you're planning to book some excursions or yep. take a rental of the car, you need to know which port you're going. Yeah, for example, we rented a car, right? So we needed to tell them exactly which terminal we're gonna be so they can bring the car to us because the excursion today, we're gonna make it for you. So we're moving forward towards the port. Um, I see there's a lot of stores, there's people meeting you with excursions. This is Punta Langosta port, so when you get out, it's gonna be, of course, a lot of people because of all the excursions and everything. It's not so big of a terminal, but uh, you dock over here and then you go outside, and that's gonna be consumer already. We need to walk like maybe a 10 minutes for uh, the place where we're taking our car. The, I think they will bring it to us. They don't have a location in particular here. We're gonna show you the company and everything. That way, if ever you wanna rent a car, you know where to go, depending on our experience. That's what we're doing today, because we decided to just go ahead and do uh, our own excursion today. We rented a car, and hopefully we're gonna make it very interesting, guys. We rented our car where we're still being yet in the United States. Yep. Uh, we've been calling to them. They actually have a WhatsApp number. You can contact them directly through and that make it a lot easier maybe, for the communication. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you also can call them if you want to. They look at it in Mexico. Yeah, As again, yeah. it's our first time doing it with them. You know, so far the service was very good. They were very attentive. Uh, we're gonna attempt to communicate with them now because they're gonna bring bring us the car. We're gonna explain you, you know, step by step all the experience. That way you know if you wanna do this. support there's a lot of taxi um which ready to drive you somewhere where you need but definitely yep. i think it's the best way to save money and explore more directly what you want uh is to rent a car and explore things yourself we're gonna explore today yep. consumil and we're definitely gonna share it guys with you hopefully you will like it hopefully we will enjoy and like it too which i am enjoying uh -huh. in mexico is one hour less than in the u.s where we come from so we have until five o'clock we have about what baby about seven hours yep. to explore this whole island which is not as small by any means you know that's why baby saying uh sometimes if you if you got your own car or everything it make it a little bit better because you can just know where you go and you start driving 
<laughs> so there's gonna be taxis available, excursions. You can rent jet skits, you can rent uh, four wheels, mopeds, motorcycle, whatever you wanna do, they're gonna be available for you right at the port, guys. So guys, behind us, you can see a Chinese restaurant. That's the place where we come to pick up our car. Yeah, our contact already gave us a call and he said that he's on the way with our car. We are venture because it's our excursion, it's your excursion, remember. We don't know Consumel. We didn't book a excursion. We rented a car and we're gonna go out there to try to discover everything on our own. That way, if they don't wanna take a excursion, baby, uh -huh. you see ours and if you like our excursion, you can take that one as well. Definitely. Okay, so we took the car. It's a Jeep. That's how it looks. Jose um, prepared some documents for the car. There was the man we rented the car. We're the company, so that's how it looks. It's a Jeep. Okay, guys, here's our car. You can see it right behind us. Yes, guys, that's gonna be our moving situation right here in Consumo. We got a little Jeep, you know, we're gonna be going around in style today, right, baby? Definitely, guys. So let's see what's inside. And you know what was great, actually? They gave us all the information and they also tell us where to stop. They gave us a little map, too. That way, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Cause that, and he actually gave me, he said, look, this place is good. This don't go, don't go here. This is a waste of time. This place is great. You know, so all of that is great because like us, we don't know, never been here. Yeah, uh, and you it's know? very helpful because you actually, you don't have a lot of time and this time very precious for us. So we actually know where to go to, what things we want to see. So I, and don't, so I don't know if you guys are ready for consumer, but we are guys, let's do it. I'm ready. Okay, baby, so how's the car feels? Guys, it feels good actually. The AC is the best thing because it was very hot. Oh yeah, it's so hot, especially yeah. been burning all of that. Oh my God, I found no good. Guys, so we are. Oh, it's perfect. But we are driving in Mexico. Right, we're in Consume. We are driving in Mexico, guys. Everybody is there. Is our ship actually? Yeah. Everybody trying to figure out where they're gonna go. We already got our own plan, guys. Now it might rain because you see how the uh, it's getting all around over there. It's a little bit complicated. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes, guys. But uh, we're gonna make the best we can today for sure. This is pretty much uh, a downtown area. We just wanted to drive through a little bit just to see the downtown, how it looks like, and then we continue in other directions. Yeah, this area is called San Miguel. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the capital of Consumel. And yeah, you can see stores, restaurants, and things like that around here. The only thing is that on the opposite side is when you're gonna have all the beaches, all the resorts. Yeah. If you got a day pass or all the excursions, is gonna be on the other side. Guys, we stop here by the park to see what's around this area, just for a quick view, you know. This is the uh, main park right in San Miguel, which is the capital of Consumel. Look at that, so pretty. Over there too, you can see like the regular streets of Consumel as well. This is Plaza Confetti, baby, right? Come guys, let's enjoy Consumel. This is very close to Playa del Carmen, so you see those ferries over there? That is the ferry that's gonna take you from Consumel to Playa del Carmen. And if you are in Playa del Carmen and want to come visit Consumel for a day, you buy a ticket and they bring you from Playa del Carmen down here, from here to Playa del Carmen. About 40 to 45 minutes difference. That's why you're going to be taking the ferry, guys. Also, right now, stopping by the gas station so we can put gas and drive around without problems, without stopping anywhere else. Right now, we're passing through the Horals area, some beaches. Oh, this is a hotel, is that right? Yeah, that's a hotel. Yeah, a, sure. uh, yeah uh, so the first beaches are going, it's um, hotels beaches. I think it's the private beaches, but you can actually can go to the bar if you want. Um, I don't think you Yeah, I guess, if you, I guess if you get to the bars, you can, uh, that kind of give you there, access to, yeah. to whatever they have in the back. But anyway, uh, as the guy who ran the car, he said, uh, continue, we have a map, which uh, I will record to show where we need to go. First, we passing through all the beaches of the hotels and then there will be beaches which we actually can go and access have an access ourselves um, as well as and other places we want to visit <laughs>
Guys, officially we made our first stop in our excursion, culture blank excursion, right, baby? This is a Rasta bar. Yeah, this is the Rasta bar. It's one of the most popular places to come over. If you are a fan of, uh, you know, the Rasta culture, you like Bob Marley, this place is designed specifically for us to at least get a drink, guys. So, guys, this is a beach here as well. The only thing that you see the wave. You can see it's yeah. actually a topless area. If you want to come, you want to be topless, you can oh, just walk out okay. there and just do it. You know, that's what it is. So probably I have to go away from this place, for sure. <laughs> there ain't no way of me being topless right there. For sure, right? Well, no. All right, right. Let's continue, guys. Let's go to the bar and get some. Definitely. We are with Victor right here in the Rafta party. So we came over here for a margarita, that's what we wanted. And then I asked him, what you would try? He gave us a little bit of this drink, and now we wanna, we want this drink. Definitely. We call it Iguana, guys. Iguana? Yes, so when you come to customer, please come to see us. Yeah, and that's my main Victor. He's gonna tell you exactly what you need to drink because this drink is tasting very good, guys, for sure. So guys, we visited a um, famous Rasta bar, which everyone likes to visit in the Consumel, and this drink called Iguana. Iguana, and we yeah. didn't want this because we was looking into the things that we know, beer, margarita, Definitely, and mojitos. we tried that, it's yep. so good. It's yeah, so our, good. our main Victor in the bar, I mean, we asked him what was popular. He gave us a little sample. Guys, it's very, it's very strong though, right, baby? It is. It's like here mixed some few different alcohols. So probably after this strong drink, we just taste so good. Yeah, for sure. I probably won't be scared of this hurricane no more. Yeah, it's very good. But it, I mean, if you come to the Rasta bar and let's say you want to try something different, get with the guys in the bar, especially if you find Victor over here. He will tell you what to drink. This one right here is called Iguana. It's mm. very strong. You have about four different types of liquor, but also it's sweet. You don't feel just liquor. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is strong, but it's, guys, very recommended for sure. Definitely. We are in Rasta Bar, Consumel, Mexico, guys. Forgot to blend? Mm -hmm. Forgot to blend? There you go. Minute. So, guys, we're in Rasta, uh, Rasta Bar, and they uh, gave us to try what? This is a peanut butter tequila, guys. Okay. You know, we're trying, I mean, we already have the iguana drink right here. We got the peanut butter tequila. I don't know how we're going to make it back to the chip. <laughs> my man Victor here, he's showing me the best, best of the house, guys. You want to try this right now, baby? You want to try this? Oh, yeah. It's just one shot, so I'm going to do half of the shot. Yeah. So, baby, try this. Thing. Let's try it. Let me try. And the funny is thing soft? is that you can smell the tequila. No, actually soft, but you can smell the peanut butter on it. Okay. Oh, this is, I never tried something like this. Let's try, guys. I smell it first and you'll see. It's peanut butter for sure. Oh yeah, it smells like peanut butter for sure. I never heard of that before. Is it strong? It's soft. That's the funny thing. It's very soft. It's very smooth. Thanks. What do you think? It's different, That's right? Good. That's good. That is different. <laughs> that's crazy. I love it. They give us the secrets of the house right here. That's that's good. For that's sure. Good. If you come to the Rasta bar in Consumer, make sure you find Victor in the bar and he's gonna hook you up with the best in the house, guys, for sure. Where are you guys from? From Texas. Texas. From Texas. Okay, you guys enjoy the stay, alright? I'm from the Casamel. There you go. Where are you guys from? Florida. Florida. Florida, okay. There you go, okay. You guys enjoy. Welcome, Welcome to Cosmo! Where are you guys from? Louisiana. in the house, enjoy. All right. Guys, hey. so we are now living the Rasta Bar. It was a great experience. They definitely popular on because, because of the reason, because they're really good, guys. Yeah, it was very nice, guys. We had a great time. We had a great drink as well. The music, the atmosphere, the ocean, and the people. Everybody yeah. was so nice out there, guys. Definitely. For sure. My man, Victor. Thank you so much, you know, gracias por toda la, la orientación, la bebida y todo. Thank you so much for all the orientation, the drinks and everything was great. We had a good time at the Rasta Bar and if you are in Consumo, Mexico, you for sure have to add that to your agenda. Right? Definitely, right. guys. Definitely recommend it. All right, let's see what advice Consumo has for us today, right? Mm -hmm. Stay tuned.
Okay, guys, and one thing, remember, we just left the Rafta bar, but as we go to our next stop, you're gonna find other bars as well. This bar that we just passed by was Miami Bar. Yeah. Right by the coast. So it's very nice, too. You can come over there and just, you know, go enjoy the beach or the way for everything. Definitely, there's, yeah. guys, you don't have to stop in the one we choose. You can choose another one. Yeah. There's plenty of them. But I would definitely say that the Rasta Bar have a good vibe. People I love enjoy that. Yeah. The vibe is good. The view is good. Like, you can find there everything you want. Yeah, the music, the music and everything was great. But again, if you go, just go. The good thing about Consumer is that as long as you go into the main road, you can go around and you just stop on the place that you think is nice. After you pass all the resorts, you're going to start finding places that you can stop and do your own thing. Right, yeah, baby? Yeah, definitely, guys. But look at this nature. That's crazy. It's like pure nature. They have, they have so much to develop still. Crazy. Yeah. We just did a quick stop right here uh -huh. uh, in the middle of the road just because it's so beautiful and that's one of the things that you can do when you come in by yourself. You Definitely. Know? If you're renting yeah. a car, you have freedom of doing anything you like. Yeah. We've been it, just driving by and we saw the place where we can stop and just enjoy these beautiful views of the nature. It's crazy. Yeah, I love that. When you go to excursion, if you don't like the place, you have to wait until they're done, right? But if you like it too much, you can you, you gotta leave whenever yeah. you don't want to leave. Yeah. So since we rented a car, we're just doing our own thing and we decided to enjoy this beautiful view. Enjoy, guys. I would definitely recommend, honestly, in Consumel, I would myself not prefer to like, like to take any, any excursion because the best thing you really can do here is just rent a car and go explore, enjoy places you like. It's beautiful. Just go and enjoy, you know, guys? Because yeah. whatever they offer here is not so many things you can do, really. And you can see our boy. And I see a lot of people. And you can, see, car waiting you can for us. see our boy right there chilling, waiting for us, guys. So far, Consumel continued to be a great, great experience, guys. Maria and Jose are giving you the best tour. Rent a car and come and explore Consumel. Mexico. Definitely, guys. Welcome to Consumel. Vengan a conocer la isla. Sí, vengan. Está muy bonito. Está precioso el mar. ¿Cuál es el mejor lugar? Consumel. <laughs> Consumel. Perfect, that does it. Okay, guys, so we stopped in another free place to stop. Yeah. Uh, and there is, we can see some restaurants, some shops, uh, yeah. some beach available. Not to like go to 10 or something, yep. especially in this weather, but you know, you can stop by, enjoy some view or like to do This is something. another place and it's called El Mirador. So from here, pretty much, it's just the view that you're gonna have of the ocean and everything is very nice located. And you're gonna have a bunch of different things if you wanna buy uh, souvenirs or anything you wanna buy. Yep. We got our friend Pablo right there. He was the one that told us park over there, take some pictures, some uh, videos, it's free of course. And if you want to spend something, it's just whatever you buy in, you know, any merchandise or if you come into the restaurant itself. Mm -hmm. But the restaurant looks very beautiful actually, baby. Yeah, Chow. I can see, I can see there's free tequila tasting yeah. and touristy food, Mexican food. <laughs> okay, baby, how is going to melt so far? I love it, I love it. I wish weather could be better, but I definitely love it. Uh, we're having a good time, guys. We're discovering Consumel a little bit Especially of the Especially after drink in this, um, Rasta bar, <laughs> Rasta bar, for sure. It was great, guys. We're having yeah. a great time. Everybody has been so nice and helpful so far. Definitely. And that's making a difference, right, baby? Definitely, for sure, guys. Invite people to come to Consumel. Guys, welcome to Consumel. You guys enjoy, you guys come over. We're gonna be here showing you everything we can. But make sure you come to Consumel, guys. Don't stay on the boat, because staying on the boat is definitely boring when you got Consumel available, guys. For yes, sure, stay for tuned, sure. Take this, tour, explore yeah. the islands. There is so much to see, so much virgin nature, so many people, culture. Just come and explore. Guys, no, no, stay in the boat. You gotta come down. And definitely explore because renting the car is cheaper to take any trash excursion. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think the advantage that you have is just you take a excursion, that's all you do. And again, yeah. if you don't already with what you're seeing on that excursion, you can go here because there's more people too. We got excursions for the next two ports, right? Definitely. Because we didn't know what to expect. There is some excursions good, but I see from what I've seen on this island, I think it's a great opportunity. And it's not so big, and it's such a great opportunity to explore all around. For example, tomorrow we go to Rotan and then Costa de Maya, and there is some good excursion we find with short excursions. And guys, that's 
a great thing, but yeah, here but in with this island, I think the best thing to if, do is definitely rent a car and go explore. And go around, because that way, if you can, if you want to discover, you just discover, and then if you want to spend the time in one specific a specific place, you can also yeah, do that, guys. You have this freedom. Okay, guys, so we've been driving through the Consumel, and we found some uh, locker stores. It's right on the beach, and oh my god, guys, they have so many nice things. I found, look at that. I really love this. I probably want to buy one of those. Look at that. So this is right from the ocean. It looks so beautiful. Just look at that. I love that. My name is Pablo mm -hmm. from Cosumel. This is my island. It's authentic from Cosumel. But this is 250 for the ocean. And this is a natural. It's rustic. Oh, wow. uh, not for that. It's only for the broken piece, for the recollect. This is Polish. The principal character is your ring. Only for one ring is 20 years old. They brought away this calcium. Old, right? Yes, wow. everything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's authentic from the island. That's, uh, a, that's on, original Mayan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Authentic. Me from Cosmar. Everything here from Maya. No, for China. Sorry, this is everything from Mexico. Now we can see the little details of yeah, the of the black really nice. of the black. Uh, you see right here mm -hmm. the ring. Mm -hmm. You can see it's how old is that because it's, of those rings. This is turquoise mm -hmm. and jade. as the Mayan stone. This is for the Mayan people the for Mayan. the good look, good energy. Authentic from the island. I guess it's this is rare black color from Cosmar. Authentic mm -hmm. from the island. That looks so nice, guys. It I looks love nice. It. I'm definitely gonna buy this one. But if you come, make sure that you find our boy Pablo right here. Mm -hmm. He's gonna explain you everything, the whole story of it, and he's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. I mean, everything, you know, prices and everything, you discuss it with them, but uh, all different pieces right here are gonna be different prices. Uh, just make sure that you calm down. Don't stay in the ship. Don't stay in the downtown area. Come to El Mirador, you're gonna find this little store. That's different stores right here. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't talk to Pablo, you didn't come over here. Right, yeah, Pablo? Thank you, thank you very much. You gotta hey, let him know, Pablo. Don't forget the, uh, the best, the best. It's authentic from Black Coral, me from Cosmo, me and my family for the work in the Black Coral. When you come back, don't forget me, a special price, and you go with Maria and my friend, a special price, all right? Hey, what is your name? Manuel Nunez. Manuel Nunez. What time have you been doing this? 46 years. He's been doing this for 46 years, guys. Oh, wow. Just so you know, this is Manuel. He's the artist behind all this beautifulness that you guys see right here. Hey, Manuel, tell the people to come to visit. Okay, they are invited. We are waiting for them to visit us here in the store. <laughs> and say, you, you guys are all invited to come and visit them at the little store. Wish the best to everybody. Come visit them, guys. This is going to be great for sure. Yes, Aguirre. Santibáñez de Consumel también? También de Consumel. Invita a la gente a venir ahí. Bueno, yo los invito a que vengan y nos visiten aquí en El Mirador. Todas las piezas se hacen fabrican en el centro y se traen a vender aquí. Aquí se exhiben y aquí se venden. And that's the good thing that he's saying as well. If you come for different pieces too, you know, you can play with the prices and they give you a good promotion when you're taking more than one piece. Yeah, so just come over here. Like a package deal, yeah. Yeah, like a package deal, type of thing. And the best thing is that you come over here not just for buying, you have in the back the Mirador, which is the most beautiful <laughs> stop right here. Take Let's take you a tour for it. Pablo, give him a tour. Yeah, yeah come on here, take a look. All right here? The, for the ocean, authentic from the island. The absolute view, the sea rock, the best for everything. My island, beautiful, I like it, okay? Awesome. Don't forget me, when you come back, take a look, customer. The awesome best, the field. best, yeah. Come to the Mexico, come to the Consumel, explore, explore this island, explore the culture, meet those new people. You can learn so much and definitely buy yourself something for a memory. Very beautiful, right? Oh yeah, I love this. And this is natural uh, stone, so I love this. This will be a good memory. And just look behind me. This is so beautiful, guys. You definitely should come here and explore. Que viva Mexico! Say, que viva Mexico! No, I say, viva la Mexico! Guys, definitely don't stay on the ship. Come explore, come learn the culture, guys. The Mayan culture right here in Consumer is very big. And coming down here is just amazing. Look at that definitely, mirador guys. right here, guys. It's amazing. I'm just enjoying those yep. views. The nature is perfect, and we're showing you everything in Consumel on your own excursion, guys. So stay definitely. tuned. Welcome, Welcome to Cozumel. There you go. Where are you guys from? We're from Michigan. Yeah. Right. And we've been here just about six hours now. Oh, wow. We've enjoyed the drinks. We have enjoyed the food. There you go. We've enjoyed the beach. There you go. Now we're enjoying the jeep. So we're going to ride around. We're going to go around the whole <laughs> There you island. go. Let them know that yes. you got to get your jeep and oh, come and do it yourself. Because you're going to stop everywhere, right? Exactly. So we're going to go back and we're going to come right back. And when we come back, 
We're gonna stay That's for empty. a whole week. There you go. Oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's the first thing for us over here too. We're enjoying a lot. Yes, sure. we're enjoying yeah. it, and we, um, as wonderful. you can tell, we're enjoying it. We still, we're gonna go look for another beach. There you go. That's well. the right way. All right. Hey, sir. what is your name? My name is Thurston, and this Thurston? is Janelle. Janelle, nice to meet you. Nice we are. Yeah. We, I'm Jose. Jose. He's Maria. Maria. And we have a YouTube channel called Culture Blend. Culture, Culture Blend. Blend. Yes. Wonderful. Good. Yeah. We're gonna check it out and give you guys some love. Nice to meet you guys. All right. Thank you very much. Continue enjoying. This is the area of the beach, uh, Playa. Playa Bonita. Yeah. Apparently they used to have like a restaurant or something like that here, right, baby? Yeah, guys. But for some reason. Now it's abandoned yeah. and it's kind of mess. But anyway, guys, behind us, you can see a beach. Look at that beautifulness. Free of use, free of use. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you don't have to pay anything. You just stop by and go and enjoy. It's not the best place today to enjoy it, but definitely you can see there is a lot of surfers today, actually. Yeah, because of the waves, the way they are, you know, surfers love that. So you can see a lot of people surfing at the moment. Again, we can see they used to have a place right here to stop, like bars or something. Yeah. It was like a good building, but for some reason it's gone. They tell us this at the beginning that this place was closed, but look at just the bay area. It's so beautiful. Yeah. You can use it for surfing if you come around and everything. If you come around, you can stop, you know, you can just stop for a little bit, take a little dip in the sun, in the water. It's just the, the ocean right now is not the most friendly one, right? Yeah, for but sure. for now, uh, the surfers can enjoy just a little bit of this weather just because it gives them good waves. For sure, guys. That was Playa Ooh. Mia. That was Playa Mia, but guess what? We are getting very hungry right now, so we continue exploring, but we got to stop somewhere that is pretty mm -hmm. and that we can have some good food from Consumo. Stay tuned, because that's coming up next. Let's guys. go, guys. OK, guys, I think it's time to try some island food. Yes, guys, we came to one of the most popular places to stop down here, which is a public uh, area. But also, you're gonna they have, have a beach, yeah. they have a place to eat, it's called Chen Rio. Yes, guys, we are on Chen Rio. I was waiting to come to this place because it's so beautiful, but also they have a divider for those waves that mm -hmm. we have today. We also getting so a little bit hungry. So too. there is a hurricane coming in the strong waves on this beach because of the division. Uh, the waves are more friendly, so you can yeah. go and definitely enjoy some beach let's and water. Go, let's go inside and let's see what we can find at restaurant Chen Rio. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find something interesting to you guys. Come to us. already on the beach and uh, you can see the waves here are a lot more friendlier than on other beaches because yeah, they got the division. Divided to them, yeah just because of this division and definitely maybe we're gonna try some water I'm not sure we'll see uh, first thing probably we're gonna eat and try some island food because it's yeah. definitely something we must to do no and here looks uh, for sure a lot more inviting because yeah. of the big wave in the other areas I didn't feel more com much comfortable. Yeah. But right here actually looks very good. The water looks very clean as well. This is Chen Rio restaurant, guys. The vibe is very nice. You don't have to pay any entry. You just come over here. And if you want to get some of the food or drinks, you just come grab a table. They're going to come meet you, give you a menu, and you can enjoy all this beautifulness right behind us. Definitely, guys. guys. Okay, guys, we stop on one of the restaurants to try some island food. Yeah, guys, this is Chen Rio. And again, we was getting hungry, so it's time to try something. We got the menus right here. Mm -hmm. This place is very popular, not just for the tourism itself, but yeah, also... Yeah, I see there's a lot yeah. of people. Yeah, and some of the locals also come and enjoy over here. Remember, this is a free beach. If you just want to park, come to the beach. You have the the uh, wave divider. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. It's very beautiful. But yeah, also, the beach is more yeah. more friendly. But also, sure. you have this place right here, right, baby? Definitely, guys. If you want to um, eat something, have a drink or something like that, you can do. If you just want to come for the sun and go to the beach a little bit, you can also do that. Here we have our friend Julian, and he's the server that we have today at Chen Rio Restaurant. And he brought us this fish right here. Look at this magnificent. Okay. So, Julian, what we have over here? Okay, the name of the fish is a snapper. Fishermen, they catch this morning and they bring to the restaurant okay. to serve to the customers. Guys, it doesn't, it doesn't get more fresh. Than that. Look at that. Oh, the yeah, that's you can see the ocean over there where the, the fish was living before. <laughs> and how it works, I mean, in this case, if people want to come to Chen Rio and order something like this, do they bring it, uh, come to you guys? How, how's the... Yes, they, they ask for fried fish, whole fish. And also we show to the people, uh, because we have the different prices, are different uh, wages, because by, by weight. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, most of the people, they ask 
uh, fry. Uh, that's the only way also we, we make this kind of we fish. We make this like Yes, only, only fry, deep fry it. With, it's coming with salad, rice, and a little bit uh, pico de gallo mm -hmm. and fresh tortillas. Oh, oh that's all I need. That's all I need. Guys, if you come to Jan Rio, make sure you find my man, my man right here. He's gonna explain you everything. He's gonna give you the best tour. And if you want something like this, order it. It's as fresh as it can get. Culture Blend showing you the best spots, guys. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Julián, ¿qué me ha hecho usted a mí? Perfecto, gracias. Muchas gracias. Nada, de nada. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here, but you look at, look at this place. Look, look. Oh, yeah, that's You got the pico de gallo. I got like 85 homemade tortillas right here, guys. You got the little bit of rice. You got the salad, the guacamole. Look at that. You see the garlic on the top? That is optional. You don't have to add the garlic if you don't want to. Some people don't like it. I told them just to put them because it gives some flavor at the end. Mm -hmm. It's like fried garlic, but I, and you can move it away later. But look at this. No, actually, I really regret. I, ju I just want his uh, fish made in the, like, fried oil. in the oil. Yeah. yeah. I want it made on grill, so my fish will look a little different, but hey, maybe I was supposed to take this one because it looks I know my boy, my boy. I just didn't want it. Uh, I just wanted, like, the grill, like, for real I know my boy was living there first. Yeah. And now then he was living in the fridge, and now he's here, you know? Maybe, well, in the morning he was swimming. That's hard. Life is hard, you know? Let's try. Let's try this. Guys, it's crazy. This is so fresh, like so fresh, you look. Look at this, look, look, look. Look, that is oh, so, yeah, good. Looks so good. This is, this, this place, Chenrio restaurant, they go in the morning, mm -hmm. they fish all of this, and then they bring it over for you to enjoy when you come. When you come to Consumel, if you want some free area for the beach, and look at how beautiful this is, come to Chenrio, you can sit down, order something if you want to, you don't have to, you can enjoy the beach, but try the fish. Mm. Oh no, that's great, mm. that's just Maybe crazy. it doesn't get any pressure, I don't know. Oh yeah. No, no, come to Chenrio and enjoy, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, look at that, I bet that looks great too. That looks good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Julian, great. Enjoy your lunch, my friends, and thank you very much for coming at Chevrolet. No, thank you. Definitely the food is great. This is a very nice place. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that one's going to be too. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you what you have over there. Okay, so I have a fish. Uh, it's as well fresh. It's just uh, made on the grill instead of the oil. But honestly, it's not comparable to looking to the way your fish look. I already forget to didn't choose that. I mean, it looks good though. Yeah, yeah. Try out. I think it's gonna be flavorful for sure. Uh, I'm gonna try now. Instead of the salad, they gave you French fries, but anyway, you have the rice, you have the tortilla. Well, you yeah, have the salad. You have you. the salad also right here yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. it looks very, it looks very good though. Definitely, really. definitely. I'm gonna try right now. Let's see. What do you think? This one good. And this That's fish is still, it continues to be one of those fresh fishes that they do right here in the morning as well. It's free, it's, it feels fresh as a pin got fresh. <laughs> Guys, Please. it's great. Come to Gen Rio. Don't play anything else, just come here. That's Definitely, it. Definitely, guys. Take the Jeep, I mean, any car, rent the car. And just get here. Explore the Spend island. the day. Definitely explore the island, explore the food. Yep. Definitely worth it. We love that. For sure, guys. We'll continue eating a little bit because we're a little busy. For sure. <laughs> Definitely. This is the first port that we stop on, Mexico. Yep. It already has been a, a great trip, and we still have, what, baby, like four more mm -hmm. days to go? Four more days to go, three more ports, yep. and we're definitely happy with that. But this is definitely, guys, it has been a great, great trip. You know, it has been more about getting to know the Maya culture. Oh, yeah. There's some places that we wanted to visit, like the... Take some uh, souvenirs from Pablo. Yeah, our, our main Pablo right there. Vive la America. Odiame más. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's been it's been it's been great, you know. Got to talk some some local people. Everybody has been very nice. 
And uh, we've been doing our own excursion. And we got the beach there if you want to enjoy it. Yeah. We just enjoy the environment, enjoying the, the you know, the Mexican style life, the Costa, the Maya, the Mayan uh, culture down here as well. This is an island that is beautiful and it still have a lot of developing options for them for sure. Definitely a lot. Mm -hmm. But I just wonder how nice the weather he here when there is like no storms or hurricanes. It's oh yeah. Probably the water here is so great. So yeah, I this, can see in all the this color, whole area. It's very nice. When the waves are not acting crazy, it's gonna it be amazing. Make a difference, mm -hmm. of course. So guys, this is Elsa Chanvio area, and this is totally free for you to come and enjoy some. And you can see, baby, if you, if you do right in the middle, if you zoom in over there. You see how that divider is, and it feels like a small, natural water beach right there. Yeah, and the waves, like, like you know, you can just sit there, relax without waves. That's so nice. Yes, guys, this is uh, Chen Rio again. This is totally public area. You can come over here and don't worry to a specific place. Mm -hmm. You just go and uh, enjoy the water. If you want to eat something, go to a restaurant, pick up something. But uh, Chen Rio is definitely a place to come. Oh yeah, for sure. another stop on our way and this is a free beach and there is some shots but I was thinking that's such a nice view that we definitely come get closer to look at that. Uh, this place guys is called El Mezcalito. If you yeah. come in driving by yourself you're gonna come to an intersection that's gonna turn around and that's how you go around the island pretty much. There is more land, but all that land over there is not developed at all. There's no cars that pass through there. Yeah. You're just gonna get in trouble if you go down there, you know. So once you go to the, you're gonna see El Mezcalito in the corner, and you're gonna be able to drive around, and that's gonna take us back to where we started, back back to San Miguel, which is the downtown of uh, Consumer. Mm -hmm. Well, this area right here is very pretty too, baby, right? Definitely, guys. Look at that. There is another uh, area. You can see there's a lot of this. Uh, I'm not sure it's coming from the ocean, how it's the name of this thing. That is a gas. Yeah, uh, and it's definitely on the way, but there is another access to the beach if you would like to. Definitely it's not the weather today, but you know, and it's one of the options. And I can see there is more, you, if you walk there more, there is more uh, access to the beach. As well as we've been showing on previous times, there is a divided area with more calm waves yep. so definitely a nice you know to stop by to go to every beach and see the nature on every overlook every stop every yeah beach. guys we was exploring and enjoy the consumer guys we was exploring consumer and definitely was a great great experience we had a nice time we've been having a nice time oh i can see swings you know? here that's so nice yeah it's about time to start getting back but you can see it's like if you're driving you drive 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 and then you stop and you have something nice and then you drive again, then you stop and got something more nice. You know, Lebanon is nice. I mean, look at this view right here. Oh, it's yeah, crazy. that's very nice. I love it. Guys, so we're already in the car going back to our ship. But first, we're going to um, drop our rental car. And the guy who's who we're in the car actually can um, ask us to bring us to the port so we don't have to go walk all the way. Guys, for sure, it's been a great experience. You know, we've been loving and enjoying Consumel. We've been in, showing you through our lens our trip, you know, our own excursion, and how excited it was to walk around, talk to the locals, learn a little bit more of the culture of the consumer people. It's been beautiful, guys. We're getting back to the ship, and I really would like that we have at least four more hours available, right, baby? Definitely, So we can sure. do more things, because this is still more things to do, more things to do, but when you come in with a cruise, the time is ticking. Whenever you're coming on the cruise, is a uh, very limited time for sure. But you want to explore all of that. So guys, by watching this video, you can know all the ways you want to visit, yep. you know, to check places you want to visit and what. Definitely, guys, I recommend you to go to eat this uh, fried fish uh, in the restaurant. It was such a nice uh, way to enjoy everything. You know, oh. I really love it. And uh, if you by any chance don't book any excursion when you come to Consumel, rent a car, rent a moped, rent something, and do what we did, and you're gonna love it. Guys. Okay, guys, and just like that, we came to the end of our video. Yes, guys, this was Consumel, Mexico. We had a great time. As you saw, we didn't book any excursion. 
we made our own excursion today. Definitely, guys. I hope you've been enjoying this video because we definitely enjoyed this trip. We definitely enjoyed uh, the consomme and hopefully our videos are going to be helpful for you guys. Yeah, it was so nice to just go out there, learn a little bit about the regular culture and everything. Really appreciate all, all of you guys coming all this way with us. If you like the video, please subscribe, get in there. We're going to continue to be doing you know, everything we can to bring you the best experiences for sure. Definitely, guys. And it was culture. Blank. See you next time.